Greetings. Welcome to another study. I hope all of you friends are fine. Going to share something small about the signs of the times. So may we pray. Master in heaven, Lord, I pray that you send your Holy Spirit to guide us. The mighty name of Jesus, I pray and believe. Amen. Okay, friends, now going to look at the signs of the times. Matthew 13, verse 16. Blessed are your ears, for they hear. Blessed are your eyes, for they see. So, friends, we're going to tackle what happened in February 2023, this year. February 2023, what really happened to the papacy and what uh, what effect does it have upon God's people and the time that we are living? So friends, as we saw, the Christians in the time past, they had a period of freedom for 225 years, which ended in 538 AD, then came the 1260 years of persecution, which added up to 1798 now friends from the year 1798 up to 2023 the years there are 225 years the period of freedom so friends the papacy gains gained his power in the year 538 and its power ended february 15 february 15 1798 February 15, 1798, that was when the power of the Pope was taken and he was put captive. So friends, it means if it ended in February 15, February 15, 1798, then to make complete the 1260 years, then it means it began in February 15, it began in February 15, 538 AD, then 1260 years, then came February 15, 538. February 15, 1798, when he was taken captive, okay? Now, friends, look at this. The same thing from 1798 to 2023, February. Then we see the papacy again. He was called pastor of the world. In which month? In the month of February. And it was February, February, February 13. There it is, friends. There it is. We are there. Pope is Pope Francis is the world's pastor. So he lose his power in 1798 to 25 years in front the month of February 13. The Pope is called world pastor. It means the wound is already healed fully the way it was healed in 538 AD, the way it was strong in 538 AD. So friends, if we study the year 538 AD, then we will have we will know what we are to expect this year because 2023 is like the year 538 AD okay now there you go 538 AD pope was made head of all churches that is it friends in the month of february 538 AD and also in our time 2023 february 13 the pope was called world pastor there you go friends and then also the issue of sunday labor came up the issue of sunday labor came up the same year remember new world order year one of new world order from catholicism church and state is the new world order that is why it is year one there you go friends the issue of uh, labor on sunday it was prohibited in the year 538 a.d so it means we should expect in the year 538 or 2023 that laws start to be made about Sunday observance and soon labor will be prohibited. From there, you can see it. We had the Supreme Court given off on Sunday, the same year, 2023, as it is in 538 AD. So the same year, the same year as it was in 538 AD, we also saw labor was at the issue of Sabbath observance of Sunday started to crop up into the states in the year 538 AD. And also in our time 2023, we see the issue of Sunday observance in the Supreme Court and workers are given off. So very soon, friends, we are to expect lawful or unlawful 
that is what it's coming friends there you go and now they will decide in the year 538 they discussed what is lawful to be done on sunday and what is not lawful so in this year also going forward we should expect to hear from the united states what should be lawful on sunday what is not lawful on sunday because the ears are the same there you go friends we have also 538 agricultural labor was put aside and people to attend church also we await this year that agricultural labor to be put aside people to attend church that is it friends and then we have there also it will be forced upon the people the observance of sunday it will be gradually forced upon the people in 538 they did that and then friends also 538 we have the bishops they warned the people against missing church that is it friends there you go we have also there that about a year later now friends after 538 ad uh 538 ad now came a year later a year later we saw all the work on sunday was forbid so friends if it was in 538 ad when all the work was for uh, 538 ad when we saw sunday rest started to creep in started to creep in and the pope was the leader of the church and also friends in 2023 we have seen february the pope has been called pastor of the world and also june we have seen the issue of sunday being made in supreme court as a day of rest friends we have seen now a year later after 538 ad what came this will astonish you after 538 ad what came in 539 about a year later another council was held in nabon which forbade all person from doing any work on the lord's day on penalty of a fine or of being lashed if a servant there you go friends it's clear now now the next year after sunday had been discussed now it was forbid all people from doing work on sunday so friends we are in the year 2023 it is the same as 538 ad so it means 2024 is the same as 539 ad so we should expect going forward that work will be prohibited in the next year no working on sunday completely so it's clear friends from there and how will all this be done there you go friends it will be done that way hmm? god has appointed him to convert the u.s into a christian theocracy speaker johnson dodges question about bad control there you go friends it's clear hmm? you can see we are told that the war began in 538 and ended in 1798 1260 years of persecution so friends in the time when the papacy gains its authority in february 538 a.d then it came a moment when sunday was uphold and then persecution intensified and god's people were in trouble the same way friends february this year we have seen the pope called uh head of all churches and then what is to come sunday observance and then what is to come war upon god's people mm -hmm. So friends, from there it's clear, even the term Global Faith Leader Summit, you can see the term Planetary Resurgence. What, that, what does that mean? Planetary Resurgence. Planetary Resurgence. Resurgence means mm, an increase or revival after a period of little activity. There you go, friends. It's now clear. Now, revival. The papacy has recovered. There you go. Another thing is recovery. There you go, clear from there, friends. And remember, the council of, or the council of, the council of, uh, let's read this. The council of, yes, the council of Orleans in 538. Let's wait for this council. It prohibited labor in the country so on sunday so let's await that friends it's really coming be ye ready with our savior as you are told friends nothing new under the under the sun 
So as we are told friends, there is nothing new under the sun. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 15. Whatever has been, whatever that which has been is now and what is to be has already been. And God requires that which is past. So 2023 has been the year like 538 AD. Exactly 538 AD, the Pope gained power in February. Also, we see 2023, the Pope gained the power as he was called pastor of the world. And then 538 AD, we saw the issue of Sunday labor uprising. Okay. And then also 2023, we have seen the issue of Sunday in the Supreme Court. That is clear, friends. And then we see council is going to be held. Mm? And what is going to come out of this council? Prohibiting all labor upon Sunday. That is it, friends. They will prohibit all labor upon Sunday. That is why they have signed that decree. Okay? Prohibit all labor that will come up uh, labor on Sunday. In 538, they did that. Also, 2023, we should expect that. Okay, friends? And then we are told also uh, a year later, a year later after 538 AD, no manner of work was to be done and people were even persecuted and oppressed. So friends, we are in that period. So after 538, a year later, as you have read, a year later, then came, then came no doing work on the Lord's day, no doing work on Sunday, and then you shall be lashed. So friends, 2023, we are here and it is not yet over, okay? It is not yet over. And then 2024, a year later, we should expect now no manner of work will be done in the time that is coming ahead. That is it, friends, nothing new under the sun. As you are told in the book of Hebrews 10 verse 36, mm, And ye need patience, that ye may do the will of God. And after that, you shall receive the promise. So what should we do, friends, in our life? The will of God should be supreme. And what is the will of God? Romans 2 verse 18. Knowing his will, being instructed, knowing his will and approve all things, being instructed out of the law, we should pray that God may put his law in our heart. As we are told in Hebrews 8 verse 10 for this is the covenant that i will make with the children of israel in those days i will put my law in their minds i will write them in my heart and they shall be a people and i shall be a god to them so friends the will of god should be in our heart that we have patience we have confidence we have the hope in jesus christ may we be encouraged friends we are nearing home as we are told in the book of Hebrews 10 verse 37 that a little while and he will come okay friends a little while and he will come the Lord will come soon may we hold fast because we are nearing the end of this war now friends as you have seen from their global faith leader summit planetary resurgence revival recovery completely no labor upon that day and remember friend thou shall not worship any other god you should not have uh, any other day apart from the seven day sabbath remember sunday as a law that is the mark of the beast as you are told by the third angel whosoever shall worship the beast and his image he shall do what he shall drink from the wrath of the cup of god friends don't bow down to that idol day may the lord bless all of us and this may encourage us to be god's people may the lord find you ready may the lord find me ready we are nearing the end let's pray master in heaven lord i thank you for this moment i pray that your presence may be with us forgive us of all of our iniquity help us to do your will in our hearts in the mighty name of jesus I pray and believe. Amen.